Welcome back to another video of sponsorship management system. In this video, we will learn how to replace your authorizing officer, how to amend details of your current authorizing officer, how to amend your details, how to request other changes to your details, how to view and withdraw recent and outstanding requests, how to view your license summary, how to request and withdraw a request for COS or CAS allocation, how to request a renewal of annual allocation, adding payee references, how to delete payee references, and in the end, we will discuss viewing details of overseas linked entities and contracts. This is for the global business mobility sponsor only. If you have not watched my part one, of a sponsorship management system, do watch this video for your guidance. I will be creating all paths on this topic. Stay connected. So let's learn how to replace authorizing officer. So from your license summary, application and services screen, select request changes to detail of the license. Then from the request changes to license detail screen, select replace your authorizing officer and replace your key contact. Then from the replace your authorizing officer or nominate a new key contact screen. Complete all mandatory fields. For example, title, given name, immigration status, home office reference number, expiry date, passport number. And then click next. Then from the request change of circumstances declaration. Screen, complete the date, your name, your position, organization and tick declaration box. Once you've done that, click submit. In the last, you will get the submission successful screen. Make a note of your change request number. Then select home from the main menu to continue. The number will be like this. From the submission successful screen, select submission sheet. Just click on it. The submission sheet must be completed and sent together with all required supporting evidence to the stated email address. It will look like this. Your request has been successfully submitted online. You can view the progress and outcome of request by selecting the license summary, application and services, request changes to detail, then view recent and outstanding changes, sponsor license, name, uh, organization name, request number and date. This is how it will look right. The declaration must be signed by the new authorizing officer. It's mandatory. Now let's learn how to amend the authorizing officer or key contact. So from the license summary application and services screen, select request change to the license details. Then select amend authorizing officer details. Amend your current authorizing officer details. Once you click on that, you will have all the options. For example, changes what you can do is change the personal details, work address or the contact information. You can also amend your current key contact details from here. You have options like you can change their personal details, work address or contact information. Now from the amend your current authorizing officer details, only amend the details you want to choose and we want to amend. For example, you want to change title, given name, immigration status, officer reference number. You need to provide all these details. Tick here if the authorizing officer is also going to be your key contact. So once you click on this, it will do for the both. As a security measure, you will not be allowed to change the family name and date of birth in the same request. As this indicate a different person is assuming the role. If you wish to do this, you should use the replace authorizing officer or replace key contact function. Now from the request change of circumstances declaration screen, complete the date, your name, your position in the organization, tick the declaration box. When all done, then click submit. After that, submission successful screen will be displayed. Select home from the main menu to continue. It all will also say that your change request number is this. You can note down that number as well. Now let's learn how to amend your details. So for that, you will go on from your license summary application and services screen. You will click request change to details. After that, select amend your organization details. From amend your organization details screen, select reason for change. It will be a drop down menu. You can select whatever you want and provide details of change in the text box. You can put up to 250 characters over here. Your current organization details which appear on your sponsor license and pre-populated on this screen. They are all showing up, for example, over here. 
make the necessary changes to your organization details. So for example, name, address or the head office address or name. Click next. So that you will end up on the request change of circumstances declaration. You will click the declaration button and you will provide the name, position within the organization, date and click submit. In the end, you will see the submission successful and choose submission sheet to download the submission sheet in the new window. When you will click on this, submission sheet will open. The submission sheet must be completed and sent together with all required supporting evidence stated in the email address. It will look like this. Sponsor, change of circumstances, submission sheet. Replace your authorizing officer. It will provide your sponsor organization name, request num reference number and date it was submitted. The declaration must be signed by the new authorizing officer. Now let's learn how to request other changes to your details. Follow the steps instruction to request other changes. You should use this function to surrender your whole sponsor license. You can also use this function for other changes. For example, changes which result in you coming under new ownership, appointing, removing or amending a representative, adding or removing a branch, site, linked entity, partner or a contract, changes to registration status or body, changes to inspection status or body, changes to key personal if you are registered in the GMB, UK Expansion Worker Route. Notify authorizing officer. In that case, you can use this function as well. This function must only be used to request changes that cannot be notified using amend your license detail, amend your current authorizing officer, amend your key contact or replace your key contract and replace your authorizing officer function. If you can't do anything in these sections which we have discussed above, after that, if you can't do that, then you would use this function. So from your license summary application and services screen, select request changes to license detail. When from the request changes to license detail screen, select request any other changes to your license detail. Then from the request change to circumstances screen, select appropriate reason for change from the select for change to drop down menu. In the change detail, 2000 characters limit field, provide full details of the request and then select next. Then from the request change of circumstances declaration screen, select and complete the date, name and the declaration box. Once you've done that, click submit. So that you will see submission successful screen. Choose submission sheet to download the submission sheet in the new window. As soon you will click that, a sheet will download. The submission sheet must be completed and sent together with all required supporting evidence to the stated email address. Your submission sheet will look like this. Now let's learn how to view and withdraw recent and outstanding requests. From your license summary application and services screen, select request changes to details. Then from the request changes to license details screen, select view recent and outstanding change requests. The recent and outstanding change request screen shows requests submitted within the last three months up to maximum 50 items. You will have the option where you can withdraw on the right side. The withdraw will only show up once request of change has been already submitted. If you wish to withdraw a change of a circumstances request that you have submitted recently, then choose withdraw. You will also have the option back button. From withdraw change of circumstances request confirmation screen, choose withdraw to complete the process. If you do not wish to withdraw, you can cancel. From recent and outstanding change request screen, you can see that request has been withdrawn or withdrawing user is displayed. It will show like this, withdraw, withdrawn pending or like, you know, all the details will show up over here. Now in the last, we will discuss how to view your license. For that, we will go license summary application and services screen and we will click on license summary. Your license summary will be displayed. Organization name, organization address, head office registration, trading name, head office address and trading address. If any of the details are incorrect, you must submit a request to change it using amend your organization detail function, which we have just discussed previously in this video. 
You can also view your sponsor license number, number of employees, business sector, for example, agriculture, fishing, whatever you have, authorizing officer details. So title of the authorizing officer, given name, family name, email address, position within the organization and representative. You can also view key contact, their name, all the details, representative. If you have a solicitor, for example, someone working on your behalf, so you can see their detail as well over here. You can also see license key dates, for example, license start date, license end date, license renewal date. Everything will show up on this page. Now let's learn how to request CUS. This is a very common thing people ask, like how to request CUS. So for that, we will go license summary application and services and we will click request CUS CAS. CAS is for the students. CUS certificate of sponsorship. Allocation increase. You will have the option request an increase to your annual allocation of unrestricted CUS. Withdraw outstanding request for an increase to your annual allocation. After that, from request additional CUS and CAS screen, select add a request next to the route in which you wish to increase the allocation. So for example, it will show up skilled worker visa for you. You may have the options depend which sponsor license you got. So this is an example in which they got the student as well and skilled worker as well. So allocation limit, which is 35, allocation used, zero, allocation remaining, 35. Date requested, increase requested. From the request annual allocation renewal screen, select the number, how many you want. So for example, skilled worker, number of requested, five. Give the reason, why do you need it? Select save on it. After that, you will end up on the screen where it will say request additional CUS. So you have already done the request. It will change in from add a request to edit. And it will give you the option what you have requested. So increase requested 100, for example. You will have the option submit. Once you have submit, you will have the option. It will change to withdraw. If you wish to withdraw request, select withdraw next to the applicable request which you have done. For example, the date requested 1811 and increase requested 100. And you can click withdraw. The withdrawal will be will not be completed until you confirm the action. So you will click on that and you need to confirm the action. This is how your confirm withdrawal action will show up. Now let's learn how to add payee reference. So from your license summary application and services screen, select payee reference. Once you've done that, you will be able to see view existing references, add new payee reference, delete an existing payee reference. On the manage payee reference, which will be like this, you will be able to view any payee reference numbers already added to the license. The date when each reference was added. Level 1 user ID of the SMS user who added each payee reference and the name of the SMS user who added each payee reference. You will have the option to select add to add a new payee reference to your license. Then from the add payee reference screen, enter the valid payee reference number when complete. Select add and save from back to return to the previous screen without saving. From the manage payee references screen, repeat the above process to add another payee reference. You can add as more as you want. If you wanted to delete payee reference, then on the payee references screen, select delete next to the payee reference you wish to delete from your license. From the confirm deletion of the payee references screen, select delete to confirm deletion of the selected payee reference. If you click delete, then you will return to manage payee reference screen back again. Repeat the above process to delete another one if you want. 